Good afternoon, welcome to the Academy. We are just going to visit the Level 2 wedding students who have just finished, it's their last day of the course and we're just going to have a little look around and see them and see what they've been up to. So, come and have a little look. Now here we go, I've got to try and work out how to change the thing. Go inside and here we go. Hello! <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> so they finished in half an hour, and um, so, let's, Rachel, <laughs> can you tell us what you've been making today? Uh, we've been making a bouquet. Yeah. Uh, I chose to do a hand tied bouquet, but yeah. I used some chicken wire just as a frame. Yeah. That's there. <laughs> Look at that. That's stunning. So That's a little bit of a hogarth curve and. I just wanted it to be kind of open and a little bit wider. Yeah, it's lovely. And I'm attempting to make it badly a flower crown. Flower crown. Yeah. So it's sort of been a catch-up day really and it's just yeah. um, sort of working on things that you wanted to have another go at, especially after the break. Yeah, and it's been nice to just, usually we, Amanda makes something and we follow and yeah. do something that she's done, but she's just given us free run today, so yeah, so we've just made something that we wanted. And we've all made really different things, which yeah, is nice. nice to see a sort of sample of the course. Yeah. Did, tell us your oasis, so um, we started building things in oasis frames, which I find easier to do than when I don't use oasis, so I've tried to challenge myself to do some of the bouquets. Yeah. And that has helped, you know, use chicken wire and things like that to hold yeah. them. But I've loved it all. Yeah. Oh, it's really I found it really challenging. Challenging. Yeah. But your favourite design so far? Um, I love today's. Every week, I think. Oh, I love this colour combination. I love these flowers. But I really like um, the kind of uh, fluffiness of today. Yes. Yeah. Um, rather kind of smooth textures. So things a little bit fluffy and yeah. fine. And I like that. Yeah, I think that's very on trend as well, isn't it? That sort of wild, sort of like flowy look, not too formal. Thank you very much. So I'm going to take the names around because you go blank in your life and you just have a moment of, who's that? Hello, this is Caroline. Hi. Hello. So Caroline, what have you been up to today? Um, I've been a shower bouquet. I'm going to move you a bit closer. My... Using a stand. Wow, um, look at that. Obviously, it's quite important to make sure that it's secure properly. Yeah. Mine did slip a few times, but so you had to tighten it up to make sure it was positioned okay. Um, I really enjoyed doing that today. Yeah. Um, made it into a holder, um, stuck some leaves on the back of the holder so that um, if anyone's viewing the bouquet from the back, we turn it around. Yeah. You can't, hopefully, you can't see and check. No, <laughs> you can't see any, no, you any can't. plastic. Yeah. Um, and then obviously put the, uh, the ribbon down, and I've left it a bit Beautiful. just free flowy. Yeah. Um, but I'm pleased that I've managed to capture the curve. It's a beautiful shape. Um, yeah. And it's not too formal, considering it's, some of it's wired, that um, it still looks quite natural, which is what I wanted to achieve. So yeah. Yeah, I've enjoyed today. It's been Brilliant. Good. OK, thank you very much. What was your challenge then? What was your biggest challenge over the course? Um, I think it was just getting my wiring up to speed yeah. and getting it fine enough as well. You've got to develop your own technique and everyone has a slightly different technique. Yeah. Um, it took me a while. I could see how it improved after a couple of weeks from thinking, oh, that's okay. So then comparing it a couple of weeks down the line, how much finer it is. Because mm -hmm. um, it makes a huge difference, particularly in buttonholes and corsages, if you can get that, that fine fineness to it. Yeah. It takes away the bulk. That you yeah. Want. Yeah, the heaviness. Yeah, yeah, otherwise it looks like natural stems in there, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm just checking the, um, sorry, just because I'm not sure whether it's picking up. Okay, is it, everyone here okay? Can you have a thumbs up if you can hear? <laughs> no thumbs up. I hope, there. I hope we're live. I think we're live. Okay, can you hear me all right, Catherine? Someone's put thumbs up. Thank you. It's a bit of delay, I think. <laughs> Hello, Kerry. Hi. Hello, what have you made today? I've made an overarm wedding bouquet. Wow, that's beautiful. And it's and this is fully wired. Wow. Everything is wired in it. So that, that was a new one for me. I've never done that before. And yeah. I loved it. Yeah. Apart from the fingers after doing all that wiring. Yeah. But yeah, really good. Oh, really that, it is it. stunning. It's lovely. That's a, it's a really nice way of having a sort of overarm design that's wired so it lasts longer than a tied bunch and much yeah. easier for the bride to hold, mm. isn't it?
And I've seen some over on bouquets that are much more um, minimalistic and sleek and modern, but I really like this because it looks quite country and yeah, softer, softer colours and softer textures. Beautiful flowers you've got in there today. Let's have a little look, have a close up. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so I'm just going to ask you, so you're, we know what your challenge is then. <laughs> what have you enjoyed the most? I've enjoyed this actually, yeah. even though it's lots of wiring, I've really enjoyed that. Yeah. Um, and I think I've got faster, as like Caroline said, um, yeah. and finer. I do quite like wiring, but after four hours, it's a bit <laughs> tough on your fingers. It is, yeah. <laughs> so, but my, yeah, my challenge is corsages, for some reason I've got a mental block and I find them really difficult. Don't worry, it'll come. I've done them at home and yeah. they turned out okay and I, I, I just, sometimes I have a block. Yeah, I expect they're gorgeous though, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. be fine. <laughs> every, every mother of the bride would be happy to have one. Thank you very much. I'm going to move through to, it's Amanda here. Hello, Amanda. Hello. Hello. Well done, you. Oh. <laughs> I'm, just going, I'm going through here now. This is going through to the second classroom. Hello. So we've got Nicola. Hello, Nicola. Hi. What have you made today? Can you show? Oh, hold on, I need to get a bit closer because oh. I don't think I'm here. I made uh, a floral crown wow. and this a tent that's a full gap for. Oh, it's beautiful. That's got a lovely flow to it, hasn't it? And, and I like the, um, you've got the up and down movement in the design, which sort of breaks it up. So you haven't got, you know, you've got recession and then you've got spiky bits and then you've got like the core layer. So it makes it nice and wild looking. Thank you. Sorry, I've never spoken to you before. You go straight in on the live session. Sorry about that, no pressure. So I want you to say, what has been your most favourite thing? Um, in terms of the lesson, or just in, in, in the lesson? Yeah, which design did I, you like? I really, I really enjoyed the floral crowns. I enjoyed yeah. having, being able to have another go at it again today. Than yeah. Than before. Um, so I really liked that. I've, I've enjoyed it all. I think every time we've done something, I've messed it up and then learned from that and then been able to go away and put into place what I should actually have done. So I think I've definitely learned more by making mistakes yeah. and knowing what to avoid going forwards. Um, yeah. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. And I, I was a complete beginner. I have no idea even just about the flowers. So one of the things I thought this week, I walked in on week 10, looked at the flowers and thought, oh, we've got this, we've got that, we've got that. Whereas in week one, I was like, there's a rose. Yeah, <laughs> so, you've um, learned so I much. I really feel like I've learned. Wow. Yeah, loads of just in, in kind of confident with what you're using as well. I'm not sure I'm that confident yet, but I'm sure I'll get there by the year doing a few more yeah. um, a few more units. Good yeah. to start with the wedding unit and look at the stuff you're making. Yeah. Amazing. You're gonna Wow. Yeah, really Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Hannah? Yeah. Hello Hannah. So yeah. what did you make did you yeah? So I made a cozy today. Oh lovely. I wanted to do it but you to paid a bit a bit more of a wild design. Yeah. Um, so that's what I came up with. That's beautiful. Let's have a look at that. Stunning. Hand tight, hand or no, wired, wired. There's a few, few elements that have been wired, but it's, yeah. it's a posy holder. A posy so, um, holder, yeah. Um, so there's a few bits that have been wired, and then other bits that have been put in using glue as well. Brilliant. That's and absolutely stunning. Um, Brilliant. I might lose signal a little bit okay. out here. Though. Look at that crack. Yeah, should we walk over this way? Yeah. 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 I got a feeling that we. When yeah. I get in this room, the signal is worse. If it's not, it's bad anyway. Let's move you here. Yeah. Right, yeah, that's yeah. lovely. So, let's have a look at the crown. Yeah. Oh, look I wasn't at that. too sure about that to begin with, but now I've put it on and it's sort of... It's looks lovely. It goes beautifully with the bouquet. Thank you. So tell us about your worst, not your thing that you, you, you've you least... least or no, the, no, or the thi not the thing you least enjoyed, the thing yeah. that you found most challenging, yeah, I think. Yeah, actually, I got really excited about the floral crown week, but I found that really yeah. difficult. Yeah. The, all the, the amount of wiring and then the returns. Um, but I'm getting to grips with that. But uh, yeah, I found that the, the most challenging. Yeah. Um, and I've actually enjoyed wiring bouquets the most once yeah. the wiring's done. Yeah. <laughs> once you get the wiring done and then you put it together and you realise how much better a bouquet can be when it's wired and yeah. the design element of it when, when it's been wired. I mean, handheld is lovely, but. When you wired something, you can manipulate it and you can just, I've, I've really, really appreciated that. Kind of bit. Yeah, I think there's something something more designery about, it. you've got more control, haven't you, basically? And you can do more designs, yeah, different shapes. Use perhaps less flowers. Yeah. Yeah, I really enjoyed that part of it. 
feel more confident with that. And, yeah, and confidence in general. I was nervous when I started. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Amanda's so noisy in the okay. other room. <laughs> Oh, that's stunning. Yeah. Oh, the work's yeah. amazing. I'm really not good to you, Oh, you have yeah. amazing to Right, sorry about the, um, if it lagged a little bit there, everyone. So that was it. That was the wedding level um, twos. Some of them have just their first course. Just kind of talking. Yeah, so that was the level twos Wednesday group. Um, and they're beautiful, beautiful, stunning designs. Thank you so much, Amanda, for your expert teaching. Let's put Amanda in the background there. And thank you all much for being live. You can go home and watch this later and see all the comments come in. Hopefully they were nice. Thank you very much for joining us. Have a look at my hair look. What the hairdressers yesterday. Yay. I am jealous. <laughs> all right, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Bye.